guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hello. What's your name, please? I'm Jose Fuentes. And how old are you? 58 years old. Oh, wow. All right. I'm very young, no? <laughs> what is your dog's name? Her name is Carrie. Carrie? And what are you doing for us today? Today, we are going to do dance. How do you teach a dog to dance? Mm-hmm. What got you into uh, dancing with Carrie? I danced uh, as a boy. My ex-wife did <coughs> not dance with me. So you dance with Carrie. <laughs> but Carrie is the best partner dancer. So you divorced your wife who wouldn't dance with you yes. and then bought a dog <laughs> so that the dog... <laughs> <laughs> Now I get dance. it. That's why Carrie is wearing a dress. Got it. OK, this is going to be a really weird season. Good luck. Thank you. It's a full-on dress. She's a sensation, the reason for aviation. <laughs> And fellas, you got to watch it. When she wind up, she bottom, she go like a rocket. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body. In time. Heist those skirts a little higher. Shake, 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 Sinora. Shake your body line. Carrie's a better dancer than Jose. Sinora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora. Uh, Jose, so did you have to teach Carrie or did she just start dancing on her own one day? Uh, I learned to dance with together, together, learn, learn together dancing. No, but that's why I'm asking. So one day you just... <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing, but it's great. So one day you just discovered that you could... <laughs> No, what I'm trying to say is, is that you were, you found out one day that if you put on certain <laughs> songs, you started dancing together, yes? Yes. Which is, by the way, incredible. I mean, I would love my dogs to do the same thing. Why would your wife not do that? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. What were you, you expecting? Know, you, well, he choreographed a routine and Kerry the dog followed and jumped it back and forward and round and so I actually really liked it. I thought it was very entertaining and a lot of fun for the first 15 seconds and then I found myself... Oh, come on. Well, I'm telling you the truth. That's what happened come to me. Come on. Okay, we're gonna vote. Suck it to me. I'm gonna say yes. Heidi? I'm sorry, I'm gonna give you a no. What? I'm sorry. Sorry. Mel? I loved it, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna say yes. Now we... It takes three yeses to go on. to America. Welcome back. <laughs> Good job, Gary. I actually think the dog liked dancing. One day they're just sitting around the house, he <laughs> looked at her, she looked at him, and it was like, let's dance. Well, the wife's gone. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Right. Baby. Bye, Gary. Baby. Baby. What's that? 
I don't know. Is that a chicken? Is that a chicken? It is a chicken. Hello. 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 Okay, what are your names? Sehi. I'm Shannon. And who are you here with today? Joku. Tofu? Joku. No, Joku. Joku. <laughs> What is Joku going to do? Mel's got it. She's going to play the keyboard and she'll play Mark of the Beautiful. Are you serious? Yes. yes. She plays positive. the piano. She does. Yes. She's going to play that keyboard no right way. there. But no, she Yes, not. she picked it up very quickly. She's very intelligent. Amazing. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I can't Good wait to see that. Let's do it. Good luck, baby. Do your thing. Wait a minute. Hello, welcome to AGT. Thank you. Now tell me your name, please. My name is Adrian and uh, I come from Italy. Do you have any pets? I'm here with my best, uh, best friend, Hurricane. Hurricane. I met Hurricane uh, nine years ago and from till moment we are best friends. Do you have a day job? I'm a dog coach. And what will you be doing tonight? He will be doing a dog act. I will play with Hurricane. Okay. Yeah. The stage is yours. Thank you. Good luck.
My name's Sarah. And who's this? This is my dog, Hero. <laughs> oh. Well, listen, I'm really good luck. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, Howie. Do you know what Medieval Times, have you ever been to Medieval Times? I have. If they took that concept and made a one-woman show, this is what I think it would be. Okay. <laughs> what? I didn't see an amazing trick. I didn't see one amazing trick. He's allowed his opinion. It's okay. <laughs> no, he did some flips and kind of jumped off a butt and did another weird flip. I would like to see more. He's so cute. Okay. Uh, Mel. I think I'm going to have to kind of agree with Howie. What? I think if you do get through to the next round, focus on really switching up what you do. Because there were a few tricks in there that I was like, oh, wow, that's great. I just wish you would have put them in a lot sooner. They had a sword fight. I've never seen a dog have a sword fight with its owner before. And I felt Hero was almost singing along with the music. So I don't think they quite understood what you just did. All right. But maybe now I've explained it. Let me kick this off with Howie. I don't understand. I do. I don't. Okay. I don't. That's okay. So I'm going to say no. Yes or no, Mel? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to say no. What? <laughs> We don't want to make anybody feel terrible. Listen, no. what you do is what you I'm do is far something. beyond anything. In the world. Look, I've never done this before, never. But I'm asking you on behalf of Sarah and Hero, Mel. Both of you. Trust me on this, I saw something you didn't see. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I know people like dogs, so I'm gonna, I, I feel so bad. This is emotional. I'll change it to a yes. Mm. Oh, Heidi. See you again in any case. You have a yes from me. So two yeses. Okay, Sarah, you have a yes from Howie, a yes from Heidi, a no from Mel. Boo. But Sarah, hero, you have a yes from me. Well done. Oh, you did great. My name is Marina and this is my mom Svetlana. And what do you do? 
we train cats. Cats? Yes, cats. Why? <laughs> How many? Uh, ten cats and one dog. Wow. Yeah. That poor dog. <laughs> Well, there's a million dollars up for grabs and headlining Vegas, so good luck. I hope you like. Yep, they do what they want, those cats. Do you have a cat? I used to have a cat. about five years ago from Israel and we want to make people understand that rabbits are amazing and they are intelligent and they deserve more respect. People don't understand We rabbits. don't respect rabbits. No. We have had Animal Acts win America's Got Talent. Do you think Binny could win an AGT this year? I know that Binny is going to win AGT. Fantastic. Wow. So you put five years of work into what we're going to see tonight. Yes. Five years, one rabbit, amaze us. I've got a good feeling. Hello, everyone. This is Beanie, my supernatural rabbit. We can speak with Beanie. Beanie, can you turn around? Can you turn around, please? Show everyone how you turn around. Very nice, very nice. Now, Beanie has been training for this moment for a long time. So come over here. Let's go bowling. Let's see, let's see. Oh my god, oh my god, it was almost a strike! Amazing! It was amazing. But you know, anyone can bowl, even a rabbit. So, Bini, let's show everyone here your best basketball slam dunk! You gonna dunk the ball? Here you go. Just a second. We will get back to this. Back to that. So, 
Benny is not only an athlete. Benny knows how to play some musical instruments. For example, the guitar. Very nice, very nice. And if guitar wasn't enough, what do you think about the piano? We'll get back to that. All right, get back to that. Billy wants to be a judge on this show. Billy can take notes like Simon does. No, take the note. Just a second. Yeah, give Just him a, a second. second. Give him a minute. The rabbit hasn't done anything. We'll get back to that. Yes. Don't rush the money. <laughs> but now let's go back to the basketball. <laughs> Bunny, and he was amazing. Oh, he was amazing. <laughs> I liked how you were in the moment when things weren't working. You said, we'll get back to that. I like that, that you don't give up. The bunny didn't do a lot. <laughs> it's why people prefer dogs to rabbits as pets, because dogs do things. And in my experience, rabbits don't do much. <laughs> All right? A rabbit! What? They just like going in the garden. But he can do so much more. He can't. Yeah. All right, well, let's vote. I think you deserve one more shot. It's a yes. Simon, I just don't think rabbits are meant to do this. That's why I'm going to say no. Heidi? I want to know, what would he no, do next? No. So, Vinny can paint. He can paint. Yeah, he can't paint. He can't bowl. He can't basketball. He's going to paint. He's a rabbit. <laughs> How many rabbits played basketball on this show? Yes! I yes. have not seen one. I kind of want to see him paint. It's a yes from me. Okay, Sophia, he oh. has two yeses, one no. So what are you saying, Sophia? I'm saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hello. Hi. And who are you? I'm Les Kimes, my wife Nina, and these are our pigs and hogs and our family. Yeah. We live in Mayaca City, Florida. Florida, woo! All right. There's one getting loose. That's right, red, don't lose it. What is that? Oi! No! Can I take a seat? Oh, no! Look, oh, a little itch. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Folks, the pork chop review. Hello.
the mama oh, no, here. The mother. Here comes the mother. I think a pig this size before, like, and in a weird way, I want to give the pig a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Can Heidi come up there and kiss your pigs? It's just purely because someone told me when you kiss a pig, it's good luck. What pig told you that? Big boy, come on. Give a kiss to mama. Give a, give a kiss to mama. 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 Anyway, we're gonna vote. It is a yes from me. Wow! Woo! Simon. In all the years of judging this show, for me, this is a first. So you have your second yes. You have two yeses. I'm gonna give you a third yes. I wanna see you again. Three yeses. Sophia? Of course, a yes. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? The Olati dogs. What wow. kind of dogs are they? These ones are Labradoodles. Wow. And so you do this for a living? Yes. Show us your wares. Let's see it. OK. Thank you. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. This is the most amazing, best animal act I have ever seen in person. Thank you. It's this guy right here, man. Oh, my goodness me. It's the best. I mean, just amazing. I don't know how you train these dogs. It's all him, actually. He's, it's he your puts dad a lot of effort into it, yeah. So. Where do you get your dogs from? Rescues? Most of them are rescues, yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Just amazing. 
amazing. Thank I... you very much. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of bringing you guys to my house. My dog does nothing. Let's go, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I tell the dog, come to this room, come to that. I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for backflips. I just want the dog to follow me. And yeah. I don't let any animal act through, hardly any, because they've been awful. I mean, every nudnik who has a pet comes out on my stage. You guys are probably going to get to be on my stage for a very long time. Thank you very much. Kiss me. Let's vote. I'd just like to say thank you so much for being on my stage tonight. And I would, stage. Like, I would like to say a yes from me. Thank you. Welcome to my stage, and if it's up to me, you're going on to my next stage in Vegas. Which is a yes. Two yeses. Gentlemen, the truth is, I'm the judge America listens to. <laughs> Whose stage is this? I am going to see you in Vegas. It's a yes for me. Thank you so much. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. I got a pocket to respect with you. This is my stage. Yes, it's true. Yes. Oh, it's Nick's stage. Yes, I'm going to be my yes. I can see. I can see. That's your pocket to respect with you. say to you, don't let just any animal act through. Howard, not everything's a lesson. Howie, let me teach. You gotta wait. Get off my go. desk. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, ever seen anything like that in my life. What's your name? My name is Sarah Hoft. This here, this is Echo. How old is he? He's a 15-year-old, double yellow-headed Amazon. All right. Well, good luck, Echo. What's your name? Echo. Can you say hello? Hello. How about hi? Hi. And Spanish, hola. Hola. And que pasa? Que pasa? And we don't go fast enough. You want to hurry. Arriba, arriba. Hurry. Arriba, arriba. All right. We're going to sing, OK? OK. OK. Can we do old? Echo. Very good. I'm that bird has talent. We have a lot of animals. What do we have there? Did you see a chicken? A chicken. How about a rooster? Did you see a sheep? A sheep. His favorite animal is a kitty. A kitty. And you do a chihuahua. Chihuahua. Beautiful, honey. What a good boy. He has a couple people impressions. He does an excellent sneeze. Ah, 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 Can you cry? <laughs> and everybody thinks you're pretty funny. <laughs> oh, no. Funny. <laughs> he also has his grand finale song. So we're gonna do a little warm up. You ready? La. <laughs> Very good. Echo, honey, where do bluebirds fly? <laughs> I love that one. Give everyone a big kiss. Big kiss. Tell them. Hello. Hi, hello. Okay, this is what I've been looking forward to. So who have we got here? I'm Pam, and this is my dog, Oscar. Okay, how old is he? He is three years old. He's adorable. Yeah, thank you. I love him. He is adorable. And, and Pam, how old are you? I am 59 years old. You look good. Okay, and tell me why you've entered the show this year. Because Oscar has a very unique talent. He can sing. What? When he, when I play the piano, he can sing. Are you, and, are you um, winding me up? No, I'm telling you, he can sing. He can hold a note. He can even do a vibrato and everything. Yeah, what? He's on the, oh, yeah, he can. Wow. And where did he learn how to sing? Um, he started singing about a year and a half ago in my living room when I was playing the piano. And so then I worked with him, and now he really sings. So does he write his own lyrics or what? Um, he, you know what? He, ha he doesn't write them yet, but I have a feeling that he might. I don't want to expect too much, but yeah, I, I'm not kidding. I've done this show a long time, and I, I always said if we could find a dog that could sing, that would be everything to me. Good luck. All right, thank Both you. Things. All right, Oscar, let's get ready here. 
Me squirrel. <laughs> this is your moment, so take it away. And <laughs> oh my god. Look at his toys with his hands. It works for nuts.
totally honest with you. Uh, you know, I, I love the dog and I love you. I was not impressed the last time. The most impressive thing about this act is that the dog was able to read my mind and give the buzzer that I was going to give. For you. Right? I actually hate you right now, Howie. And let me tell you something. Dogs not only watch this show, they vote for this show. Uh -huh. Trust me. And, and let me tell you something. Yes, there were mistakes, but actually it made me love Falco even more because he picked himself up. He knew it wasn't going great. But then he got himself back together, ended up giving me a high five. So, Howie, to you. Yeah. <laughs> Gabrielle! I think what we kind of forget is that Falco's a, per a performer too, and everyone, you know, sometimes you have off nights. But what we loved is that Falco kept trying to nail it. Exactly. And he was yeah. having a great time. And that's what the, the yeah. act is all about. Queen Latifah! Listen, I just want to party with Falco. I don't know what y'all talking about. Uh, oh, he's coming. Falco's got good sense. He's going for that sandwich right there. <laughs> so give me a chance to party with Falco. Keep him around, vote for him. Why not? <laughs> All right. What's your name, please? My name is Veronica. And where are you from? I'm from Oxford, Florida, and I live on a farm. One of the questions, you know, I like to ask, and I think I know the answer, is do you have any pets? Uh, I have 27 horses, three camels. Camels? Camels, yes. Three <laughs> ponies, eight goats, 50 doves, around 50 chickens, 15 dogs and 13 cats. Wow. Okay. Wow. How old are you, sorry? I'm 12. We love animal acts on this show. I've got to be honest with you, we had a horse who was cute but hopeless. <laughs> so please be amazing because we really need you to be great. No pressure. Thank you. Good luck. This was so amazing, beautiful. 
there was so much happening. And Even the quick to change. Us. Look. Yeah, I know they're listening. Look, he's going oh, to say this. That one doesn't you. care. What's his name? Woody. Woody? Uh huh. Come back, we're talking to you. What is he doing? I'll take that one. <laughs> okay, now he's listening. Howie. Not only did you dazzle us with original, like from the quick change, but you're a great performer and you surprised us. I loved it. Heidi. I mean, you are adorable. I love all your friends. I love the quick change. I love how they were dancing together. I mean, they were just such amazing listeners. It's very well done. Thank you. Look, it, uh, it was everything. They are so, so smart. We've never, ever had an act where the animals actually have listened to what we've had to say. Normally, they just ignore us. Not Woody. Oh, apart from Woody. Woody. Not Woody. Woody. He likes to sit in his seat. I'm no. saying nice things. Look. OK, we're ready to vote. Howie. Yes. Heidi. Second yes. Sophia. Yes. You have four huge whoops, which is so yes. Was that amazing? Yes, it was. I don't think we've seen an animal act where they hit every beat. What are your friends going to think when you come back home? They're going to be like, wow. <laughs> This is Hallow, my uh, chicken. Oh, bless. Oh. And what's your name? Zoe Tomas. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Agua Dulce, California. OK, and how old are you? I'm 11 years old. OK, very nice to meet you, Zoe. Now, tell me why you're here. I can see this is obviously going to be an animal act. You are amazing, Simon. You are amazing. <laughs> This is a gift I have. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do some chicken training with Hallow. OK. When did you realize that you could train a chicken? I started training the chickens when I was seven. And what came first, the chicken or the AGT? <laughs> is it your dream to win America's Got Talent? Yes. OK. Uh... Good for you. <laughs> is that you talking? OK, well, look, as I always say, the next two minutes could change your lives. So good luck. Thank you. Woo! How sweet is she? I didn't even think of training chickens.
rock and roll band. There are no words. I've never seen anything like that, and that's exactly what blows my mind on this show. I love, I love your chickens, I love you. Thank you for being here. I want to know first, what is this pom-pom looking chicken? What kind of, what is, what is There's that? The one that is like a round ball. Uh, she's a coaching frizzle. So this guy, Hallow's feathers, they're straight. Her feathers are the curly cue, so that's what makes her a little fluffy. <laughs> Well, if you are not too busy, uh, I, I need help with my four kids. <laughs> you didn't miss one bit. It was fascinating to see what these chickens could do. It was like unexpected. So I am very glad that you made it to AGT. I mean, we had animal acts on this show who did nothing. Literally useless. And then you come on with your chickens and they did everything right. It's incredible. Amazing. So I'd like to start this off with your first yes. Yes! Sophia. Absolutely a yes for you and your chickens. I'm going to give you a third yes. Yes! 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 Four yeses, thank you. I have never gotten a dog to listen that well. I can't even get my kids to listen. Is that real? I want one. Hello. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? My name is David Lichman. I'm from Sacramento, California, and this is my friend Pepino. Aww. Are you excited to be here? Pepino, are you excited? Aww. All right, we want to see what Pepino will do for us. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Pepino. He's wearing shoes. The shoes. Everything. Pepino, here, 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 here. here. Very good. Sit. 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 He's a little nervous. <laughs> He's very interested in Heidi, and I think he's a little shy because he's now finally getting to meet you. What about me? Sit. 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 Pepino, sit. This isn't going to go well, is it? Sit. Good sitting. Good sitting. Good, 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 good. Sit. Very good. No! <laughs> okay, here's the tricky part. <laughs> Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Sit. 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 You know how to do this. Let's move on. Oh. Okay, wish me luck. Cue the drum roll. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> he wants out. Goodbye, Pepino! Pepino here. Let's go on with the show. Let's continue with the show. Pepino here. Here. Next. Here. Um, Pepino here. Hello, hello. Uh, hi. Hello. Welcome. And who are you guys? We are from Pompeo family. My name is Natalia, our daughter Katarina, and my husband George. Okay, and where are you all from? From Sarasota, Florida. And uh, I presume this is going to be a dog act? Yes. <laughs> they look like little lions, don't they? <laughs> no. <laughs> and how many doggies live at home with you? We have 18 dogs all oh together. Gosh. No, you don't. 18 dogs in the house? And most of them come from shelters. Okay. Ah, that's good. We love our dogs like our kids, and it's, it's just part of our life. 
And what's the big dream? We won our own show in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> okay, well, listen, I can't wait to see this. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I do look like lines. Uh, you're gonna come in from the other side over there. Is that right? Have a good show. Go get him. Please welcome to your house, Terry Crews! Yeah! Huh? Are you guys ready to meet your judges? Hello, welcome to America's Got Talent. Hey, wait, 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 they use our voices. What's up, dogs? What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Just stop. You have a good shot on this show, so it's a no. I didn't like it. How do you say no and bark at the same time? Wow, even Dog Simon is me. It's a super no for me. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mesa, and this is Delta. I didn't really like it that much. Are you kidding me? I actually loved it. You blew the roof off this house. I've never seen anything like this. Eddie, what do you think? I think you are absolutely out of this world. Are you ready for this right now? Push 
Just hear from everyone else. Just tell me quickly about you guys and what you do, where you got the dogs from. So our group is called the Canine Stars. We're a team of dogs and their people, and we travel around showing people how to be really good relationships with their dogs and also promoting pet adoption. Just to be clear, who's Howie? Right in the glasses. With my glasses. This is Bow Wowie Mandel. Bow Wowie Mandel. And where, where's Heidi? I'm laying down there on the floor. Where's Sophia? <laughs> Which one's me? That's you right there. That's me. That's Simon Howell. <laughs> Simon Howell. Good boy. <laughs> Handsome boy. Howie, what do you think? I can see what you do love I that. Think? Look at me. I'm adorable. <laughs> you <laughs> are you. adorable. Uh, this is, I gotta say, for me, the best animal act I have ever seen yeah. on this show. <laughs> <by far. laughs> and that is Henta. Henta. Uh, like the virus? Oh. oh. How old is Henta? Henta is about seven months old. And so she? Yes. She's very cute. She is. So is there just one or lots? We've got some understudies backstage. Pneumonia and varicella. Are they understudies or an infestation? A little of both. How did you get into this? Like, where does a young lady find rats and what inspired you? Well, I had some pet rats that I loved very much. Right. And I was working as a performer so I started training my rats to do a couple of tricks, and then I trained them to do some more stuff, and then they started taking over the show. Okay. Good luck. This is kind of amazing. Ah, oh, rat. I love rats. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh my gosh, she gonna jump? I know in your head right now, please don't say it. Howie. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen this. It's incredibly unique. It's incredibly entertaining. I love it. Oh, thank you. Gabrielle? That was super different and really unique. I've never seen rat talent like this. Henta is a star. I definitely want to see more of Henta. Thank you. This is so weird and I love it. This is so awesome. Um, 
I've never seen anything like that before. That was so much fun. I think you guys are great. Hashtag, I like weird. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> I love that. I mean, it was bonkers. We were all rooting. <laughs> I think rats have just got bad PR. They're sweet, and people think they're nasty, they're nice. Well, that, that's why we're here today. Good for you. I love both of you. I'm going to say yes. It's a weird yes for me. <laughs> it's a ratatouille yes for me. <laughs> Four yeses. I am Christina Elisabeth Peters, and this is my dog, Meredith. Ah, hello. Where are you from? We are from uh, Europe, Hungary. Ah, and what, what kind of dog is this? She is an Australian Shepherd. How did you fly into America, both of you? With the airplane. <laughs> I love the question. Wow! What is your act called? My act is called Glamourousis, but we are doing dog dancing. There is a movie about this kind of dancing with really? dogs, right? Love yeah, that. I saw a movie. Wolves. It's dancing with wolves. No. Well, I wish you good luck. Thank you. I love the dog. Isn't he beautiful? He's so cute. Look He's a good tail. boy. Look at that tail. There was actually a storyline. It's just so different. And she was smiling the entire time. It leaves me wanting more. Thank you. It was spectacular to see her having such a great time while she was doing it. It was amazing. Thank you. Incredible. It was like ballet. You know how ballet tells a story? It was beautiful and it was exuding emotion. I've never seen it done so wonderfully. Wow. Amazing. This dog actually danced. I believe in years to come there will be shows like Dancing with the Stars where dogs will enter. <laughs> so remember where you heard it first. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Right? I'm going to kick it off with your first yes. I'm going to give you your second yes. Thank you. I can't wait to see more of you guys. Yes. Thank you. And how It's your time to go out on America's Got Talent. Oh, wow. Hi. What's your name? Alexandra. Where are you from? I'm from Quebec, Canada. Oh, 
Bonjour. I'm also Canadian. <laughs> and who's that? Tesla. Wow. And what is the dream? To have a um, dog training center. Wow. Yeah. Does Tesla think she can win? I think, uh, I yeah. I think she does. Yeah, I yeah. think. Good. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Sorry, we, we met Tesla, and who's this one? Luca. Luca. I think this might be my favorite dog act of the season so far. Thank you. What I love about Tesla is that you could tell she was having, having a great time. I think you're going to do really well in this competition, all three of you. It's a bit <laughs> Heidi, what'd you think? That just put the biggest smile on my face. Tesla also could be partially kangaroo. She jumps yeah. up like that. I mean, it was adorable. Thank you. Sophia. I wanted you to keep going and going and going. It was fantastic. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. You know, we see dog acts all the time, but I saw unique tricks, and it was more energetic and more in sync than any other animal act we have ever seen on the history of America's Got Talent. So let's go. Simon? Uh, woof. Woof. That is, that means is yes. Yes. So you got one woof. Yes. Thank you. Two yeses. Heidi. Yes, yes, yes. Four yeses. <laughs> Can I say hello? Hello. Hello. She gave hugs. She gave hugs. Hi, Mama. No, they are absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you beautiful. so much. That dog didn't miss one no. beat. That dog is so smart. Yeah. I want that dog. Oh, she's only 11 years old. So tell us, you are doing a dog act. Yes. I can't wait to see this because I hear you're really, really, really good. Viel, viel Glück. Toi, toi, toi. Danke. Good luck. Danke. Okay.
2017. Yes. So 17, 18, 19, now I'm 20. So how old are you? 11, 12. You're 13? No, you're 11. So you were? Nine. Yes. Nine. We're going back yes. to class. Math is not. Thank you. <laughs> you were nine years old when you won? <laughs> no, 10. Oh, good. <laughs> That's yes, nobody's good at math. Basically, she's young. <laughs> she's very young. I'm just saying how nice it is to see a young person doing something else and being in front of the computer all day because I'm sure this takes so many hours of working with your animals and they love you. I mean, seeing eight wagging tails, that was the cutest thing. How do you know she didn't learn how to do that on YouTube? <laughs> what did you think, Howie? This is why this show is called Champions. I've never seen a person your age have such control and such professionalism and be able to do what you did with eight dogs. You are truly amazing. You're truly a champion, and thank you for being here. As Howie said, this is one of the most difficult things I can imagine. I mean, I have yeah. four dogs. I can't get them to sit for the life of me. And it just brought joy to my heart. I loved every single minute of that. You are a star. Simon, what did you think? Well, first of all, this was done on ice. <laughs> I know, and they didn't even slip. Which made it even more difficult. Yes. Uh, you're 11 years old. Um, I like the fact that the dogs are all kind of different breeds. To me, it was like being in a real life movie. Yes. I thought it was incredible. Well done. You're a champion. Thank you so much. Well Thank you. Hello. Hi. And your name is Edna Moore. And this is Mia Moore. Mia Moore. <laughs> Mia Moore. Yes, she is. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a bit more about Mia? Well, Mia, she loves fashion, as you can see. Her wardrobe, forget it. She has more clothes than Tyra. <laughs> <laughs> what is the act we're going to see today? Because I'm really excited about this. Well, Mia, she could count any number between 1 and 50. She also read number flashcards. OK, well, listen, best of luck, both of you. If you would like to choose a number that you would like for her to count to, I'll, I'll tell her to count it for you. A uh, four. Mia, count to four. Go. Are you nervous? Are you, ner are you nervous? No. No, she's not nervous. Okay, sit. Mia, count to four. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Mia, sit. Sixteen. Mia, sixteen. Ah! 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 We need help, Tyra. I've got flashcards here. Okay. Now let you pick a number. Oh, I just picked? Yes, you pick a number. You want her to count two. Okay. Mia? What number is this? AGT in 2014, right? That's right. Last time we were here, it was Christian and Scooby. Yep. Um, 
One sec. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, he's around. Oh. <sighs> I know. <laughs> Scooby, um, he actually retired from performing shortly right after our last run on AGT. Uh, right. He was 11 years old at the time. He's 16 now. He's still going oh, strong. Oh, that's amazing. But, wow. Yeah. Oh. Got scared for a minute. That's amazing. Well, Christian and Percy, we wish you the best of luck. Awesome. Well, thank you. I hope you all enjoy it. it. Thank you. Like to French kiss or what? <laughs> right? I mean, he's friendly. No, I mean, do you put anything there like marmalade, some kind of stuff? It's just loves to French kiss. Just my lips. Ooh, I won't shake hands. How do you do that? As soon as he starts climbing on you, everyone goes crazy. Yeah. And then when Percy does this, it's the cutest oh. thing we've ever seen. Ever. I mean, in combination with you, it's perfect. I remember you, I love you, I'm a fan of yours, and tonight, you're better than you were, you stepped it up, and I think that each of the 50 states are talking about you right now. Thank you. I mean, it just got better and better and better as it went along. I mean, like Heidi said, this is a match made in heaven, you two together. It was fantastic, well done. Simon, what did you think? I've never seen a dog balance and dance at the same time. <laughs> Genuinely. And I think whoever makes Scooby-Doo should think about making Percy do or something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hello. All right. Hello, good evening, <laughs> sir. How Hi, are you? Hey, I'm Joe the Birdman. Hi, Joe the Birdman. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? I've been actually training birds for 38 years. <laughs> Who is this? This is Tika. Tika. Tika is a yellow-naped Amazon parrot from Central America. And I rescued her a year ago, and she is just phenomenal. She's the best talking parrot I've ever met. When we pull up to drive through she tries to order. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How great is that? So go ahead, do your act. All right. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Are you happy? I'm happy. Yes, everybody I'm is happy. happy. 
You want to play some games? How about this one? Peekaboo. There you go. Here's another game. Ready? Ah. Uh. Now when I touch her, it changes to. There you go. <laughs> Now, Tika actually sings several songs. We're going to start with this song. You ready? Here we go, Tika. Uh, Sing it. Go? Hush. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. I'm going to find you a box keeper. There you go. One more. Oh, wow. There you go. That's great. Let's try this one. Sing it. Sing it. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yes. Melby. <laughs> let's see you again. Yes, let's yeah. see you again. What is her name or his name? His name is Casper. Casper. He's very handsome. What is your obsession with Chihuahua? They are cute. Um, I love them. They're so cute. I, my son has one. My husband has one. <laughs> I have one. You do? Mm -hmm. Mine hates me. Oh. Mine loves my wife, but it hates me. Yeah, Chihuahuas are, are, can be naturally aggressive. It's true. I'm afraid of mine. <laughs> What is your name? My name's Pam. What are you guys going to do tonight? We're going to sing for you. Casper's a singing dog. Oh. Are you serious? How did you figure out that he could sing? Well, as a puppy, he had no voice. He would squeak and squawk. The weirdest little noises would come out of him. And then one day, like a year later, I was playing guitar and singing, and all of a sudden, this noise came out of him. And I so was... he started to sing? Yes. How long have you guys been doing this together? So we've only sang at a talent show at work. Wow. Okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I've always said if you could find a dog that could sing, yeah. you'd make a fortune. Okay, Casper, so I'm going to take the verses as usual. You will come in on the chorus, only the chorus. Understood? Okay, hit it. <laughs> He's a cute dog. When I was young, I never needed anyone And making love was just for fun Those days are gone Even that last note that Casper hit was so moving and emotional. I mean, it just, I don't usually like to say this, but I mean, you don't even have to be there. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. Casper clearly knows how to sing. I thought you were hogging the mic a little much. I feel like you could give it to him totally, a little more. Totally. But I thought it was pretty good. Thank you for the note. It did cross my mind should Casper go solo, but <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, you weren't great, Pam, but he was. First of all, I thought he was screaming. And then, 
Amazingly, he did actually start to sing. No, it, it is amazing. I mean, that is unbelievable. Genuinely. Okay, let's go. What do you say, Simon? Yes or no? Of course, yes. Howie. Oh, it's a yes. Right now. Well, I mean, they weren't crazy about me, and that's that's fine. That's not why we're here. Uh, but they loved Casper, and that's the important thing. You know what's going to happen if she does well in this contest? He's going to leave her. You reckon? He's going to find someone else. wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord of mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> You know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties, and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds. <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six month old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey y'all, it's Molly Cyrus, what's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions, I got it. I could do jokes, I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? <laughs> yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. 
What? Do it. <laughs> Do it. Oh, All right. I will do an impression. Yeah. And then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right. Let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap. It's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot, <clears throat> come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened. Right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird. All right. Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with a Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It is just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're gonna rob you when they're ringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you are a Victorian. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? <laughs> Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you're alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, 
<laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's no, we need more. We need more. I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16, and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella, and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself, a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay, right? So, I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask, right, Howie? Right. Right. I'm not gonna get on a bus full of first graders sober, not, not whatever, okay? <laughs> I take on my flask, you know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! You know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? <laughs> I'm like, calm down, biatch. <laughs> I'm not driving this bus. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> 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 Job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. I have a twin sister. And I actually don't talk a lot about being a twin because people ask really stupid twin questions. Like whenever I say I have an identical twin without fail, someone will go, do you guys look alike? <laughs> we are very different personality-wise, me and my sister. I'm very silly and playful. My sister's very dark and sarcastic. And she has low self-esteem, which is weird, because she has my face. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> That is our face. I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, Make sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> I 
that's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I applied to work at the Coco Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. But they, <laughs> yes, boo, the Coco Foundation. Uh, they, told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just gonna <laughs> toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all gonna do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, I would love to know. Uh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two-second head start. Ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um, Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> 
It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Give it up for my dad. Gerald Kelly, the comedian. I love that dude. But he's a loser. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my God. I'm seven years old, and we have the same job. <laughs> The other day, he was like, hey, yo, Hunter, are you going to work tonight? <laughs> if you going, I'm going. We have the same job. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. Where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom. You raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> I just got broken up with, it was an open relationship, means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes up, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, all right? <laughs> As soon as my son touched my finger, I knew I would die for him. I don't even know this dude, but I would die for my son. The first time I see him, the first time I touch him, I would die for my son. Isn't that crazy we do that, fellas? Yeah. That's right. Because we wouldn't do that for our wives. What? Oh, I'm feeling the heat from the women. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let me explain. Ladies, hang on. Hang on. Look, ladies, the first time we see you or touch you is usually on the first date. No dude in this world is dying for you on the first date. Now, let me make you feel better about the situation. If you're on a first date and a dude looks at you and goes, 
I would die for you. You better run. Because that dude's about to kill you. But I would die for my wife now, 100%. It took a couple years, but we got there. That's right. If a car jumped the curb and was headed her way, I would push out of the way and take the hit myself. That's how much I love her. Because we've all dated people we wouldn't die for, right? That same car jumps the curb, you're like, shh, I guess it was their time. I guess it was their time. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down, I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. <laughs> Remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. 